there was not a lot of negative or positive movement in the market this week. Most of the indicators remained very neutral and some continue to improve. I'm Tony with Clarkson Santoro and this is our real estate update for October 21st. In this series, we update you on the latest trends that are occurring in our real estate market here in San Ramon. Using our more than 50 combined years of experience helping clients buy and sell homes, we explain what those trends mean for you as a homeowner or as someone who is looking for a house that you will love to call home. The current inventory is 45 homes, which is down from 51 last week. The average asking price of those homes was $1,931,000, which is up from last week's average of $1,914,000. 10 homes asking an average of $1,596,000 went pending this week. That is more pending homes than last week's number of six with a lower average asking price from last week's $1,868,000. A total of six homes sold this week with an average sales price of $1,991,000. That average price was up from last week's average price of $1,988,000 and the total number of homes sold was lower than last week's 11. So now that we know how the market performed this past week, we can look at the broader trends that give us insight into the health of the market and help us understand where it might be heading. Before we do that, if you find this information helpful, you can make sure that you're subscribed on YouTube or following us on Instagram so you won't miss the next update. You could also share this with a friend so they can be informed on their local market too. Starting with inventory, the first four indicators we look at tell us about the current health of the market. Inventory continues to drop, and that's not too surprising. Homeowners understand that this market is no longer a given that they will sell quickly or for as much money as they would like to get for their house. We are seeing less homes come onto the market now, and that is probably going to extend through the end of the year. Last week we scored this indicator at 49, and this week we will raise it to 52 as reducing inventory levels help sellers. The next market indicator relates directly to inventory level and that is the market turnover rate, which has been falling steadily for the past several weeks. The lack of in inventory finally appears to be affecting the supply and demand dynamic. The turnover rate came up from 0.51 and is now at 0.69, which is still a slower than neutral turnover rate, but it is a move in the right direction. Last week we gave this indicator a score of 28, and this week we are upgrading it to 36. The over under asking price dropped to 45,000 or 2.4% under the asking price. When we are more than 2% under the asking price, it is an indication that sellers are overestimating the health of the market and how much buyers are willing and able to pay for their home. Last week we gave this indicator a score of 46 and this week we are dropping it to 38. The last statistic that we watch to track the current health of the market is the average sales price. This indicator has remained very stable for the past two months, floating around the low to mid 1.8 million level. That is enough time to take the standard escrow length into account and appears to be a reliable number for us to base our assumptions for our current market overall. Last week we gave this indicator a score of 53 and we will keep it at the same number this week. We have two more trends that we pay close attention to, and these help us predict and prepare for where the market is heading. The Invesco Triple Q Fund that we watch to help us gauge the financial health of the buyers we typically see coming out of the Silicon Valley improved slightly this week. It went from 257 up to 273 earlier this week before coming back down slightly to where it sits now at 268. This isn't a large increase, but with the latest downward trends, any increase is a welcome relief. Last week we gave this indicator a score of 31, but this week we are raising it to 34. Finally, the last indicator that helps us predict the housing market's future is interest rates. These did not fluctuate much this week. Coming up from where they were last week at 6.92, they are now at 6.94. While not an improvement in the interest rates, with the way things have been climbing lately, having them stay relatively equal feels like another chance just to catch our collective breath. Last week we gave this indicator a score of 23, and this week we are leaving it at 23. Overall, we did not see too much change in the current health of the market this week. We also didn't see any signs of it improving or getting significantly worse in the near future. 
As long as there are no more big economic hiccups, I expect the market to stay at this buyer friendly but not horribly soft market for the duration of the year. Last week we dropped the overall market score down to 36. This week we are bringing it back up to 38. For sellers, it is more of the same. Unless you absolutely have to sell, it might be worth it to wait through the holiday season. But if you can't wait, or are concerned that the market will only get worse, then the best thing you can do is really focus on making your house stand out to buyers by finishing some improvements, doing a fresh coat of paint, or just updating light fixtures throughout the house. For buyers, I still think this is a great time for you to buy. Home values are down from their peak earlier this year, and there are still a good amount of homes on the market with a reduced level of market interest overall. Now is the time for you to get into that neighborhood you've been thinking about. Once the market starts to pick back up, it will go quick again, I think. I hope this weekly summary and commentary helped you understand how our market is affecting your options. Let me know in the comments down below or contact us directly if you have specific questions about how you can navigate this market to sell or buy a home. And if you find this information helpful, remember to share it with a friend and hit the like button and subscribe so you'll always be up to date on the latest real estate news here in San Ramon. Have a safe weekend and we'll see you next week with a new update.